Yo, it's Duff for the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again, you dig? You made mention of a 20-minute damaging audio on Corrupt and Snoop Dogg. Like, you ever gonna put that out? And, like, what was that about? I made mentions of, uh, or about the dog fighting and stuff like that? Yeah, it was a 20-minute uh, damaging audio that you could put out on Corrupt and Snoop Dogg. Nah, that's probably was that. I don't think I will ever do that. I tried it for a minute, and then I caught a lot of backlash. And and, and after thinking, I think Wack is the one that called me and told me to pull that down. I definitely but, did. Yeah. Definitely did. Um, they were. It was some shit that Peter wouldn't have been happy with. Let me just say that. Uh, I got you. I got you. Did you ever uh, mend the relationships with them two? Or no, corrupt. Corrupt is somebody. He did one thing that was stupid. Something that a lot of young men did back in the nineties. Nah, dog. But now, uh, well, not with, not, was, not that young, uh, not that young, uh, not that young, not that young. Not that young. Yeah, but niggas were fucking, niggas were fucking sixteen and seventeen year olds back nah, in the nineties. Not the junior high float though, right? Right, but you're right. I said not fourteen. Nah, right. nah, nah. Yeah, Thirteen, nigga. fourteen. You're right. But other than that, other than that, corrupt is one hundred. Corrupt, corrupt is a. Uh, Corrupt one day gonna need a, a kidney transplant because he drank a lot of alcohol, that hard shit. But other than that, man, Corrupt is a good dude, y'all. Why did Suge Knight put you in charge of the label? Um, I think this is the the best options. You know, when you have to pick from options, people that you can control, that 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 that, that you think that's gonna uh do what you say and not try to be, you know, one thing about me and we all got to be the boss. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then you want to do a little bit more. And I think I was the best of the evil. What, what's the best word? You know, the the better choice of the evil. I don't think it's, I don't think he looked at the cop part and all of that. Um, but you know, he knew my family. I knew his family real well. And uh, I, I I don't know if he regrets it now. But I don't think I really don't think anyone that could have dealt with his his family. Street niggas, his company. Not only that, Rez, that shit would have failed. You put a lot of shit on your back, four, five million dollar loan yeah. in your fucking name. Floated yeah. a lot of shit, a lot of shit niggas don't know, bro. That shit hold, I, hold on, Reggie, I was reading something somewhere. Tell me, is this true or not? I was okay. reading something somewhere that actually, as much light Suge Knight gets, they said that when you was, the time that you was at Death Row, you actually sold more records than Suge Knight. Is that true? You, you no, know, but... I sold 21 million records during my from 97 to 2002. Death Row sold 30 million from 91 or 92 until 2006. Okay. Now, I had no no budgets, no expenses. You know what I meant? I didn't have to put niggas in. I wasn't getting an artist seventy five thousand dollars a month monthly. I didn't have them having two security guards and all of that. So once you do the profit and loss statements, then yes. But then I also, what a lot of people don't don't give you credit for, is that we also uh, had a free and clear catalog at that time. I went and got deals from three different distributors during that time. I got a, dis a, a distribution deal with, with a company called DNA that went bankruptcy in Sacramento. I took it from Interscope to Priority Records, and I also took it, and each time we got advances for like anyway from two to three million dollars during those time periods. Um, he had no judgments when he came home. Um, we had $8 million sitting in an appeal bond for a decision with corrupt that was just sitting over there in the courts, in the courts that was just sitting when he came home. So that was $8 million. We had no, no debts, no, you know, no, nothing negative going on. When you do the P&Ls, he made more, he generated, he generated yeah. more money because they had more debt on the other side. Because we didn't, and we didn't have to pay for people and all that. All we was paying was for five thousand dollars for the realtors, or you know, people. The the the, the budget was way low. So basically, you know, your profit budget. margin was your profit oh. margin when you was running Death Row was better than Suge Knight's. It's, it, it, exactly. Now a lot of it had to do with stuff that he did in ninety five, ninety six, that was already done, and that would be the Tupac's, you know, albums and stuff like that. And so, but you know, we didn't have to do. Five hundred thousand dollar videos, music videos, and all of that. It's just like like Wax said, the PNL this this was better, 
and the man came home debt free. Did y'all see me and the, me and him in the limo when I'm giving that nigga when we picking up? We flying on private planes. Got a, a, a sign on, on the building with a picture of him on Wilshire Boulevard with him talking about welcome home and all of that shit. Niggas wasn't broke. Niggas didn't go broke until that nigga came home what and started doing dumb shit. shit. Didn't, didn't want to put out no music and shit. What did he do though? What 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 did he do to 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 make all those finances go down the drain? Nothing. Hold on, Red. What the <laughs> That's nigga the problem. did, right? The nigga had an ego. He wanted yes. to be back in UMG Distro, right? Red had already set up a big plan Correct. where he did a motherfucker sold half the catalog to Koch, and he had five percent of all Urban Acts come through. Anything here. black. He could have just easily ran his distro through Koch, but Koch was an indie, and if he would have did that, he'd have been ahead of everybody. So instead of him taking the indie distro, he wanted to force his hand on the UMG distro Correct. and Jimmy Iveen them and Drain them wasn't going for it. And he let it all fall. He didn't want that, the oatmeal, so he took no meal. And fuck that. And scared up. and scared to put out something. And he was scared. He was scared. And I gotta I gotta take a hit. Well, not me, because me and Suge was together, walked across the street. Pooh Rider did that dumb shit and knocked that valet parker yeah. out. Kenneth, that set him back there nine months when you had to and go guess, to the time. And guess who he called back to come and run the company then? Yeah, I know. And For I got to whole... take it because I knew Pooh was loaded and I told Blood not to fuck around. And But see what it was, Suge want to move another way. So I, I, no way I could write Pooh was doing what Suge doing and what Pooh didn't float it off and did. And that that really set him back. In the comments and y'all let me know what y'all think. It's Duff for the Cloud Chaser TV. Gang.